One of the major benefits of using AutoCAD Mechanical Intelligent Parts is when you annotate your drawing, you can take information from those intelligent parts and actually annotate the drawing with it. So if I go to the Annotate tab here on the ribbon, you'll notice in the Symbols panel here we have Leader Note. Now that's what we're going to use first of all. It creates a leader note and as you can see there it attaches it to an object in the drawing area. So if I click on leader note now and select this bolt here, like so, it prompts me to specify the next point. So I'll go up to here, like that, and then I want a nice little bit of horizontal line there, and I'll click there like that. What I then do is press enter, and now look, I can show the reference line, I can flip any symbols, I can actually show the information. Now I don't actually want that bit there. So I can actually remove that by right clicking and I'll actually delete that bit there. So it equals BS4168 and it's an M10 and it's 50 long. So if I OK that now, watch what happens. There we go. It tells me what British standard that bolt is to, the size of it, M10, it's a metric 10 thread, and it's 50 millimeters long. Let's do that with the washer just here, the washer. So I do another leader note. I might zoom in a bit for this one, so I know that I'm clicking on the washer there like so. Let's get that just right, click it there. And I don't want that point there though. That's not good, I don't like that there. I'll hit escape and just click leader note again and come back in. So it's very quick and easy to get out of. I'm gonna go just there. And there we go, that's coming off a perfect point now on that washer. So I'll come out, pan a little bit. And what I'll do, I'll use object snap tracking just to track that across. So let's line that in there, get it horizontal like so. So I'll pick a point there and specify next point, so I want a horizontal line, just a little bit of one there, click, and then enter again. And again now, I've got the information there, bright washer, M10, it's from Form A, and it's a British standard 4320. I don't want the bright washer bit, I'm not too worried about that, I'll right click that and delete that, that's the actual description. What I want is just saying what it actually is, it's a BS4320 M10 from Form A. So I'll OK that like that. So I've got some information there now on my drawing telling me what the bolt is, what the washer is. Obviously I do the same for the nut as well there. So I do a leader note there like so, click there on the nut and come out. I might just line that in there, take a little horizontal line there, press enter. And again, it's got hex nut there. I don't really need that information because people can see that. So it's a right click after I've selected it and delete and I OK it like so. Now you'll notice there that all is consistent. It's all using the same template. Let's have a look at this nut here and use a different template. So I go to leader note again on the symbol panel. I come in here and click on the nut there and drag that out that way, click, little horizontal line, click, and then enter. I'm going to use template one this time. Does that make any difference? Template two, template three. No, they don't. They don't make any difference at all because they're all the same. You haven't set up any different templates. But as you can see, when I click there, template three, load, update, and so on. So I can load a template if I want to. I've got categories there if I need them as well. So I can actually create my own template if I want to. I'm not going to in this case. I'll lose the hexagon flange bolt. Don't need that. So I'll delete that there. And I'll OK that. And as you can see, look, all consistent, all neat and tidy. That's an ISO bolt there from that particular screw template, whereas these ones are BS, British Standard Nuts and Bolts and Washers. So you can see there that your leader note allows you to suck intelligent information from the objects you've already placed on the drawing. Now again, I could also do the angle plate. That also was an intelligent object, was it not? So when I come out here, click, click, enter, and there we are, equal angles. I don't need the equal angles bit there. So it's select, right click, delete, OK it. And there's even more information. So your leader note allows you to annotate all of your AutoCAD mechanical intelligent objects.